Um, <laughs> long day? Martial arts is hard. <laughs> well, yeah, did you think it would be easy? I mean, I guess not, but are they all like this? You mean challenging? Of course there are, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, what style is the hardest then? I don't really know. I mean, they're all kind of challenging in their own way. No, no, no. That's a cop-out answer. What's, I need like a list. What style is the hardest to train? <sighs> okay, how about this? I give you some of the hardest challenges to complete in your martial arts journey in various different styles. Does that work? <laughs> okay, tell me more. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja. So I get this question quite a lot in the comments of my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok videos. Everyone wants to do the most difficult martial arts out there or get validated in some way by the fact that they are already doing the hardest one out there. Yeah, I'm fucking better than you. Okay, much better than you. You are garbage. And to be quite honest with you, here's the thing. Difficulty is relative. A lot of factors can decide whether or not something is difficult or not. Challenging moves that require flexibility may be difficult. Maybe uh, certain katas or forms are super complicated. Maybe the tournament circuits are notoriously hard to win. And the truth is any and more of these things can make a martial arts quote unquote the hardest. So if there's no way to really make an objective list as to what martial art is the hardest to learn or train, I instead decided to cover some of the hardest feats to achieve in someone's martial arts training. And some of these are like crazy. We're gonna start off with probably what is the most well-known on this list, the Black Belt Challenge in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. But before we do, let's recognize that Black Belt doesn't mean the same thing in every martial art. Generally, it takes about three to seven years to earn one, and that doesn't make you a master of that style. Most of the time, it just means you are officially competent at whatever style you chose to do. However, in BJJ, they throw that norm out the window. On average, it takes about 10 to 12 years to get a Black Belt in that style and it's the time equivalent of about a third or fourth degrees in most other styles out there. The difficulty shift makes BJJ one of the most difficult martial arts to earn your black belt in. The good news is that it shouldn't be too difficult to find a teacher considering that it is one of the most saturated martial arts in the world meaning that Schools are literally everywhere. All you gotta do is jump on Google. Another incredible challenge is the 10,000 move Boca Tour challenge. Now, many of you may have never heard of that style before and that totally makes perfect sense. It is an ancient martial art from what is now modern day Cambodia and the first challenge is just finding an instructor and the second challenge is finding one that speaks your language. Otherwise, get started learning Khmer. I may have pronounced that wrong but we're gonna continue. Khmer is the language that also has the largest known alphabet. So yeah, good luck. And if you do manage to get past that Bokator contains 314 sets of movements and katas that has 10,000 individual moves in them. I mean, you only have to really master 1,000 of these to earn your black belt. Then learn the other 9,000 moves over the next 10 degrees of black belt. Then once you've made it to the gold rank, another 10 years until you really earn anyone's respect because that's just how they roll in that style. So yeah. Good luck. Tai Chi also has a major challenge in it as well. And this may surprise a lot of you because in most countries, the modern form of Tai Chi is fairly easy to learn. It's very similar to yoga. Anyone from six to 106 and even modern Tai Chi classes take years to master. However, this usually is without Tai Chi fighting. Once you decide to learn Tai Chi as a fighting art, that's when the challenges begin. The first is like I said in the other one, finding a teacher. The majority of people who teach fighting Tai Chi live in China, so better hop on a plane and and get going because that's gonna be your best bet. Next, you will have to master the extremely complicated forms that will require a mastery level of balance, flexibility, and personal discipline. They require this arguably more than any other martial art in the world just because of how the style works. And the last challenge is making sure to hit that subscribe button because legend has it, only a couple people can hit the like and subscribe button at the same time. <laughs> but for real, these are only three of the hardest challenges out there. And there 
there are so many more in the martial arts world, like the challenge in the style only known as the rough and tumble, because there isn't actually a mainstream English word that describes it yet. And yeah, the challenge part of it is even tougher than the name makes it sound. Or the challenge in the style Bokum, a street fighting style which the only goal is to inflict a very painful death on your opponent. So if you want me to go over these two and many more, get me to 50 likes and I'll do a part two on this video. So make sure to send me with that HBO special, help a brother out by liking, leaving a comment, and subscribing if you're new. But for now, thanks for watching because my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about BJJ or this other one that YouTube thinks is perfect for you. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.